it's the weekend, so I'm making a cheesecake. And this recipe is not going to be a low calorie one. This little piece has 330 calories per slice, but it's all worth it. What do you think? It's nice and creamy and the crust is chocolatey and so, so delicious and very, very easy to make. So as always, the list of ingredients you're going to find in the description below the video. To start, I'm using a graham crackers. This time I'm using chocolate ones because they're a little bit less sweet than the regular one. And I'm also adding a cocoa powder to it to make it even less sweet. But if you like, you can add sugar. A lot of recipes will call for sugar. I just don't like it that sweet. For me personally, the cheesecake is already sweet enough. So to balance the flavors, this kind of chocolatey, less sweet crust balances it perfectly. I'm using one package of graham crackers. That's uh, nine sheets of the cookies, adding three tablespoons of cocoa powder. Mix it all together and add six tablespoons of melted butter. When you combine all the ingredients, the texture is going to be still a little bit crumbly and that's perfectly fine. I preheated my oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm putting the gram butter mixture onto 9 by 13 inches pan. I spread the cookie crust evenly all over the pan and I pressed it lightly. Now it's ready to go into the oven for just 10 to 15 minutes. And while your crust is getting ready, I prepared the cheesecake butter. I'm adding three packages of cream cheese. It's about eight ounces each. I added three fourths cup of sugar and a little bit of vanilla extract, um, about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And now we're going to incorporate the sugar into cream cheese, make it nice and smooth. This will only take about five to 10 minutes and we are ready to start adding eggs. I'm using here five eggs. I'm going to be adding one by one. So I'm, put, I'm putting one egg into the butter and mixing it together. And then I'm putting another one. This technique that I'm using of putting eggs into the butter, it's not really ideal. You want to put it in a different container first before you put it in the butter because you just never know if, uh, if the egg is not fresh enough or possibly also you might just put a little bit of shell by mistake into your butter and it's much harder to, to uh, fish it out than from a little container. Now, what I like to do is after the butter looks done, I like to scrape everything off the walls. Sometimes cream cheese stays there on the walls and uh, it's not fully incorporated. And I'm looking here for a nice smooth texture. After about 10, 15 minutes, take the crust out of the oven and set your oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Now this is time where you put the butter right on top of uh, your crust. And this is how the butter looks like. And my cheesecake goes back to the oven at 300 degrees for one hour. In the meantime, you can prepare your sour cream and sugar topping that we put on top of the cheesecake. I'm using here full fat sour cream. It's about two cups, 16 ounces uh, of sour cream plus three tablespoons of sugar and just a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix it all together and set it aside. Once 
Once your cheesecake is ready, very important, do not take it out of the oven immediately or you might have some cracks on top. Just crack the oven door a little bit and let it cool for 5-10 minutes before you take it out. Once it's ready, you put the sour cream mixture on top and spread it as evenly as you possibly can. And by the way, the cheesecake is not completely cooled and that's okay. You're gonna be putting it back in the oven for a few minutes. And it's ready to go back to the oven at 300 degrees for additional five minutes. That's it. Once you take it out, let it cool completely and then put it in the fridge for another at least two hours. Ideally, you wanna leave it overnight. That way it has this perfect creamy consistency that we are looking for in a cheesecake. Well, enjoy it. And if you like this recipe and you would like to see more, don't forget to subscribe.